The terror reign of craft over Cadbury is continuing. Apparently, the recipe for Cadbury Twirl has changed and apparently it has morphed this product beyond recognition. Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK Vlogs and another investigation presented to you by me, MJ, uh, and assisted very bloody heavily uh, like last time uh, and just basically our investigation collaborator, Tommy Miller. Tommy Miller gets in the comments and he sent me this several weeks ago. MJ, I know you and I have discussed the falling standard of Cadbury chocolate at some length, but a distributor friend of mine noted at the end of last year that two of the factories in the UK have altered their chain and it probably means the bars those respective factories make will be changing flavour. One such bar is the Twirl, I tasted one recently from a multi-pack and confirm it's almost completely unrecognisable as a Cadbury product. It's almost like a cheap Kinnerton bar now. Do you think you could do me a massive solid and check it out for the ongoing Cadbury Chronicles? You know I value those taste buds. Taste bud? Uh, of course, Tommy Miller, you are my man on the street. You are the you are my inside man, the man with the information. So yeah, Tommy says that the recipe for Twirl may have changed because of those interesting um, facts about the, the supply line changing and basically these factories changing, which is fascinating. So before I open this multi pack, it's already open because Claire's been eating them, but before I try open it, I get the before I eat one of these bars and investigate for myself, let's just have a quick look to see if we can do some further investigation. So guys, we need to check the internet for Cadbury Twirl, right? Let's go on Cadbury Twirl. Let's go on the the web, the internet. This is the, let's accept those Cadbury cookies. Um, this is obviously the Cadbury website. Let's have a look at the recipe. Um, so the current recipe is this you can see it i can read it out loud if you wish but i shan't uh, because i've already pre-investigated this um but we're going to go to the internet way back machine if you've never heard of the internet way back machine it's a very interesting website uh we're going to put in the cadbury 12 we're going to hit return or press press browse history and it's going to show us when this page has been archived so if we go back to 2017 that is the first time that this page was archived and you can see it was archived twice in November so let's go on the 5th of November remember remember um, and let's have a look at one of these snapshots and this is going to show us the web page from all those years ago oh look at that so actually we can put, compare look this is the old page and this is the new page. Not not much has changed. Not much has changed at all. That's quite funny actually. In four years, not much has changed. Anyway, so this is our old one. Brilliant. Do we need to accept cookies before? No, okay, there we go. Right, so this is the recipe from four years ago, okay? Milk, sugar, cocoa butter, cocoa mass, vegetable fats, whey powder, emulsifier E442. This is the important bit. Emulsifier E442. Because if we look at the new recipe... <gasps> emulsifier E442 is joined by E476 um, I think everything else looks roughly the same there yeah milk sugar cocoa butter cocoa mass yeah everything else looks to be the same oh no actually whey powder has changed as well whey powder there's more whey powder than vegetable fat in the new one Yes, interesting. So there's actually two changes. So there we go, investigation concludes. The recipe has changed officially. So as you saw, the recipe has absolutely undoubtedly changed. Now what I think is really interesting with this recipe is that I think, I still, I think there's something, I think there's something more interesting going on here. Because if you look at all of the different products that Cadbury sell, a lot of them have the same recipe. And this recipe is like, Milk, sugar, cocoa butter, cocoa mass, whey powder from milk, vegetable pats, pats, brilliant, fats, palm shear, emulsifiers, and flavorings. So the things in here, there's like flavorings, like cocoa butter, like even the sugar, even the milk, even the whey powder, all of these things, they're not very explicit, they're not very specific. So I think we could definitely be dealing with like different levels of qualities. Even though the uh, the actual 
sort of rough amounts of each of these, these ingredients are largely the same across a lot of these bars. I think they could be using, for example, different qualities of sugar, different qualities of cocoa butter. Uh, and so I'm really fascinated to try this. So we did get a multi-pack, like Tommy Miller suggested. Uh, Claire has been eating these. I haven't had a twirl in... I have no idea how long it's been, but it's been... Uh, I don't know. Are they in Heroes? Because I guess it would have been about a year if they're in Heroes. Um, so yeah, I am intrigued to see. And by the way guys, I like Twirl. In fact, do I love Twirl? I sort of love Twirl to be honest. Um, so, but I trust Tommy ex explicitly, implicitly. I trust him like, I trust him loads and loads. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be really intrigued to see if I can actually tell the difference between this. Um, that's weird that already I've got alarm bells now I don't think I've ever smelled a twirl before that does not smell like Cadbury it smells like chocolate really strongly it smells like chocolate that does not smell of Cadbury chocolate mm. let's give it a go it can't be as bad it cannot be as bad as Tommy says he says it's unrecognisable as a Cadbury product. Let's give it a go. Still got a nice crumble. What? What the hell? Okay, there, there is a hint of Cadbury there, which I got towards the end. I'm getting a hint of Cadbury in the aftertaste. No way. That does not taste like Cadbury. Okay, I will say, the texture is still there. I absolutely love the texture. I love the way the chocolate melts down. That does not taste like Cadbury. No. Like, there, it kicks in there. There's like a little hint of the creamy Cadbury like taste in the aftertaste there, but whilst it's in your mouth, and for the most of the time you're eating it, that does not taste like Cadbury. That is insane. It didn't even look like the recipe changed that much. What is going on? What is going on? Guys, go and get a 12. Go and get a 12. I don't know if this is like a multi-pack exclusive thing, but like, it's like Easter egg chocolate. And guys, let me be clear. Let me, let me, let me be clear here. I bloody love Easter eggs. I bloody love 12s. This is nice. This is nice. But it doesn't taste anything like it used to, and it's goddamn definitely worse than it used to be. That is absolutely shocking. Look, listen, let me just, let me reiterate. I'm tasting it in my mouth still from the chocolate remnants being there. And it is nice. It is chocolate. I like chocolate. But that is so much worse than it used to be. And that is unrecognisable as Cadbury for most of it. You do actually get a little bit of taste in the aftertaste. But... Whilst that's in your mouth, especially as soon as you put it in there, it lit like your, the first few bites literally tastes completely different. Craft, what are you doing? What are you doing to our. What are you doing to Cadbury? Um, Tommy, thank you for highlighting this with me. Um, I absolutely. I can't believe. I, I was. Do you know, I was, genuinely, I, was, I was genuinely worried about making this video because I was like, what if I can't tell the difference? I'm going to have to like put my food review badge back in. And this isn't a case of me being Darren Browned. As, like, as soon as you put it in your mouth, you can literally, excuse me, you can literally tell immediately. Um, I don't know what to do. My life is in crisis. Thank you for watching this video.
We'll see you next time when the Cadbury Chronicles continue. Cheers.